Sound of the ocean, captured in a shell. Like a memory. Imagine if it held something different. Something more than just the sound, but just as real. I mean, what if we had a chance to remember things that we never actually experienced? Tell me what happens. Or what happened. In this memory that's never existed until now. What would you want to remember? I'm nervous. I'm not sure if she can tell. But for one single arbitrary moment, I gather enough courage and whisper something in her ear. Something I've always known but never told her. Holding my breath only makes my heart beat faster. She looks at me for the first time, differently, but with the same eyes I fell in love with. She takes my glasses off. And then... Morning, sunshine. You good? Yeah. I'm real good. I remember. Yep, that's how it works. You act like it's your first time. Every time feels like it's the first time. But this time did feel different. It felt more you. Maybe we're spending too much time together. <laughs> I mean, I remember this time way more clearly than any other time. I mean, she's gotta be real. How do I know this is just a shell? Well, what's her name? It's just a shell. A soft shell. Sounds like a good one, though. I was visiting her loft where she just moved in. 19th floor, incredible views. You know, we were having one of those random conversations that usually don't go anywhere. But this time, we definitely went somewhere. Yeah? Everything was, was golden, glowing. I remember, I, dude, I could still feel her breath on my neck. It was perfect. And that's where I told her I loved her. Fuck, Adam, you, you outdid yourself. How many times do I have to tell you that that girl you remember and whatever you two do, that is, that is all you. I just, uh, well, uh, I helped you find her. I can't believe she's not real. Trust me, it's better that way. It's about the feeling. That's what matters. I do love the feeling. Yeah, you do. Anyways, uh, what do I owe you? 17, propanol, modafinil. Modafinil. That's new. Yeah, it's for Fang. You're still working on him, huh? Yeah, uh, basically all I'm working on now. Fang's my best lead that I have to show how all this can be applied practically. So that's your plan, huh? Win your way back into the department? I mean, it is a good angle. College dropout gets honored for discovering the cure to dementia. Yeah. This is bigger than anything they're doing over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But uh, you're still stealing their stuff. Am I? Technically, my hands are clean, thanks to you. 
Anyways, I'll check next week's inventory and get back to you. I mean, most of this stuff is good. We just have to worry about Harper for the stronger stuff. Sure, but we both know there's ways around that, right? Don't worry about Harper. Yeah, but we also both know how that turned out for you. I'd rather keep my job. Next week, I'll do my best. That is all I'm asking. Anyway, you're, you're not doing this for me. You're, you're doing this for her. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Great, now get your ass out of here. I got things to do. All right, jeez. Come on. Excuse me, Mr. Sandman. <laughs> hey, why do they call you that anyways? They don't anymore. Hmm. The Sandman is a mythical spirit that brings sleep and good dreams to people by sprinkling magical sand over their eyes. Sounds about right. They're memories, not dreams. Artificial memories. What's the difference? Thanks, man. Yep. Later. Take care. PR again on the 400 today. Hey, what does that mean? It means at this pace, I should be set for regionals in this play. Oh, nice. I'll be there. What? Yeah, I'll all come right, too. All right, all right. Yes. How about you join me for some sprints first then? No, just so you can uh, leave me in your desk again? No, I'm mm -hmm. good, man. Thanks. Okay. Uh uh. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going to go eat? You know, you could have just told me and I could have just met you there. You know how weird it is for me to come back to here. Bro, it's not that big a deal. The, the lab is like on the other side of campus. You're not gonna run into anyone. And even if you do, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. You feel okay being back here? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? This will soften the edge and ease you back. How long has that been happening? Just recently. I'm fine. You're not. Why didn't you tell me? I can handle it. That shell had another two weeks on it, at least. Even then, it's not supposed to crack like that. I knew it was a bad idea to keep implanting. Hold on. Regionals are right around the corner, and. I've never felt better. And that's, that's all because I, I could remember a win. My win! That should have happened. Adam, that shell was the only thing keeping me going. That's what I'm afraid of, man. You're already dependent. <laughs> Darius, there are two realities at war in your mind right now. The one you're suppressing is the truth. 
the, the harder you try, the more damage it'll do. No shell can withstand the strength of a real memory. Never should have offered it to you in the first place. No, but I, I needed it. After what happened, you remember how low I was. You saved me from myself. Now I'm just asking for that one more time. That's the last time. It has to be. Understandably so. I knew we would get to this point with Darius. I just, I, I didn't know how. What made this time different? And there was this desperation in his eyes. I've seen it before. That's why I stopped implanting hard shells. At the time, I, I didn't realize how much they could undo someone's reality. The only reason I kept it going for Darius was because I was a, I was afraid of what would happen if I didn't. The scandal. What happened? The guy was just under so much pressure to win that he, uh, he stopped believing in himself. He got caught doping and uh, dropped out around the same time I did. So you implanted a memory with the intent to protect him? I let him see what he wanted to see. I mean, it was either that or I, uh, I let my friend end his own life. But now that memory has become a poison. What do I do, Priya? Adam, I've always told you, your discovery would lead you to questions that are not meant for you to answer. That's where you are now. Even so, I can tell your heart is in the right place and you're on the right path. What you have done for me and what you're doing for this other gentleman is miraculous. But um, this friend, Darius, you can't continue sheltering him with a lie. He needs to face the truth, just like I did. I once thought I needed the shells too. But this is proof that I didn't. The highly anticipated conclusion to Priyanka Shukla's award-winning anthology has finally arrived and does not disappoint. <laughs> the other side of yesterday shines with unforgiving honesty and imagination. Undoubtedly her most profound and memorable work to date. I hate when they include those things. If you ask me, let the people think what they want to think. But if it helps sell books, what do I know? Congratulations. You help me see the world through different eyes. With each shell, I became all the characters and voices in my last four books. But with this, I didn't need any help at all. They were microdoses of soft shells, essentially harmless. You didn't need to believe the memories the way Darius did. Uh, my point is that I was in a different place then. Now I'm back. It took being lost to find my way back. He'll find his way back too. Keep it. Yeah? You're not getting it back. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, it's Darius. Leave your message and I'll get back at you. Hey, uh, I know we both weren't expecting what happened today. 
call me as soon as you feel like you're slipping. Anytime, I'm here. All right, I'll uh, check in again later. Fang, it's Adam. We got another puzzle for us. It's 500 pieces this time. Fang? It's me. It's Adam. Hey, Adam. It's, it's Adam. What? Oh no! I thought you were. I'm sorry. Hey. I don't know why I. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I was waiting for Anna to come home. I didn't know where she was. Maybe they took her. And then I thought, they would take me too. Who's gonna take you? I don't know. It was just a feeling. Do you know where Anna is now? Yes. She's gone. My wife died five years ago. Is that enough? You know why I was asking. I had to be sure. This recent paranoia you've been experiencing could be an unexpected side effect from the treatment. I'm fine. What happened to your arm? As long as you're not a danger to yourself. Like I said from the start, I've never used shells this way. To remember real memories, this is a new territory and, and that comes with new risks. Risk? Before we started this, I couldn't remember who Anna was to me. What if my daughter's next? That's my whole world, Adam. That's what's at risk. Plus, I'm not the only one who needs this. Whatever happened to me is still scientific research for you, isn't it? Yeah. No stopping now. If you're ready, we can start where we left off. I'm ready. Thank you. Okay. In our last session, uh, your recovery rate was the highest it's ever been. Retention's been stable, too. Let's uh, give it another go. Remember, fuzzy, and gone.
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you know, you can chew on those, right? And change the compound to make them easier to ingest. And tweak the formula, too, so you might feel. Shop that you like. What the There it is. <laughs> What'd you think? When I made the short film 10 years ago, I never thought it'd evolve into this. And we're just getting started. Be sure to come back next week for episode two, or you can watch the rest of the series right now for just $12 through the links below. Thanks to everyone that already purchased it or watched it through our Patreon. You're the reason we've been able to continue telling stories like this. See you next week. <laughs>